All right. Welcome, welcome. Hey, guys. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. I believe I am live. So right now, tonight, we're doing something special. And the live is being streamed on both LinkedIn and also YouTube right now. I am supposed to see both of your chat on both channels. So if you're live with me right now, please comment on the chat on both LinkedIn and um, YouTube. I just say hi, your name, and where you're from, and any other um, upcoming interviews you guys have. Okay, so come on the chat so that I know I am actually successfully live on both platforms. Awesome. And at the same time, let me do this. Oh, yeah, I see somebody said hello from uh, YouTube. Awesome, awesome. So definitely live on YouTube. I'm very excited about this. Um, by the way, I can see all your chats through this integration. This is amazing. Awesome. Okay, great. So um, let me do this. Let me start to um, share my screen and also change my virtual background um, to get ready for today's free training. And now you can see me here. Awesome. Okay, great. So I see, ah, we see people from uh, LinkedIn as well. Fantastic. So I'm live on both platforms. All right. So gl glad we test out the integration. Seems to working very well. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, great. So quick introduction about myself, what we're doing tonight. My name is Dr. Nancy Lee. I help people transition from worker B to product manager and business leader. And I have helped hundreds of people landing their dream product manager job offer from startups all the way to the fan level product managers and also from individual contributor all the way to the uh, like um, director product level. So I have lots of secrets I want to share with you guys tonight, which is about salary because I have negotiated lots of salaries for students. So I know the latest salary information. And also I know lots of you guys might be thinking, am I underpaid, right? So let's figure it out. Let me show you some real life numbers. I recently, every single week, I was doing any job offers and every single week I'm negotiating different kinds of offers for them. So I know lots of salaries. So let's get started and let me do this. And I also believe that and everybody who joined me on uh, YouTube Live and Instagram Live and you are uh, not Instagram Live, actually the LinkedIn Live, you have the opportunity to directly, directly receive free coaching, free live coaching from me as well. So anybody who want to join me live and feel free to email me at nancy at drnancy.com. And let me go through today's presentation uh, show you about uh, salaries in different places and at the same time let's also welcome who are here with us um, we see Ashok hello Ashok doing well Ashok Edward and ha um, Haki uh, ha Hakirat uh, and also uh, Swana, welcome, 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 guys. Okay, so everybody, please introduce yourself. What's your name? Where are you from? And also, if what's your background? So we also know are you a product manager or you are as buying product manager or you're a director of product. Actually, I talked to a director of product today um, who is in the process trying to figure out what the best way to join fan company. So um, yeah, introduce yourself as well now. Let me do this. Let me share my screen and share with you the secret behind the scenes for the salary information. Look, I also give you some real, real examples. Okay, and let's do this. Awesome, awesome. Can you guys see my screen? So comment on the chat. Say yes if if you can see my screen, and I hope you guys can. Uh, Ibel and from Malaysia. Fantastic, that's your morning. Awesome, awesome, great meeting you guys. And let me see who else is here. And let's, um, Swana, thank you. Uh, uh, Chesana from California. Awesome, awesome, see lots of people here. And Ashok, Director of Product Management from Moody. Welcome, welcome. I know I have several director 
uh, people you know, for my audience that knew it. So let's go through this. And now this is what we're going to do. Step number one. So today's topic is about the product manager salary and also understand are you underpaid or not? Very important. And specifically, you know, my teaching style, I love to tell you the behind the scenes stories. Okay. So let me share with you another very inspiring stories of one of my students. Um, for people who are inside a product manager accelerator, which is one of my coaching program, you know who this person is. For people who doesn't know him, let's call him uh, student T. Okay. So what happened to student T is that student T was an engineer in the travel industry. Um, as you can imagine, in the past two years, and travel industry has lost a downturn, as we can imagine. Now, now gradually, the travel industry start to pick up. Um, but at the beginning of this year, he actually discovered that he was severely underpaid inside of the travel industry. And at the same time, he really didn't love his job. His job was engineer and basically doing lots of like um, integrations of the company. By the way, he doesn't know how to code. He's an engineer doing some networking stuff, but he doesn't know how to code at all, even if he was an engineer. Um, but he made a very bold decision. He decided to quit his full-time job to focus on put a management career. Because to him, career satisfaction is very critical to him. It's not about, hey, I have a stable job. It's more about, am I happy every day I go to my office? Or am I dragging my feet every day when I go to work? Right. So the step number one, what he's thinking regarding what's important for him. Number, thing, uh, number two, what he's thinking about is he actually discovered he was underpaid. Not only underpaid, when he told me his salary when he was an engineer for the travel industry, his salary was the lowest compared with entry-level product manager students I've helped before. Okay, let me make it clear to you guys. Entry-level means who had bachelor degree, who joined any company, including startups, all the way to fan company. Even my students who have bachelor degree, fresh graduate joined startups, are getting paid higher than him. And he already had, I believe, like six years of experience in total. So he was totally, uh, for sure, underpaid. So therefore, he made a very bold decision. He decided to pursue his career satisfaction. He also decided to continue to like uh, focus on making the transition full time. So eventually, and what he did was total, he spent three months and making a transition. The first month, he had a mental break so that he can really recover mentally and also physically from his like, like long hours of work as an engineer. And, and then he spent two months in learning and also applying for jobs. And eventually he was able to land uh, a remote product manager position in a company that was a Stripe competitor. Okay, I don't want to disclose the name of company for the confidential of our student, but it was Stripe's competitor. You can just use your imagination what, is, what company is this. Uh, and also he also doubled his salary. Okay, so uh, in total, he actually got two PM offers. We eventually accepted the second offer, which is a Stripe's competitor's uh, offer as a remote product manager. And he more than doubled his salary. His cash received is already double his original cash in terms of salary and not including his equity. If we include his equity, his equity can range it four times his salary or at least two times of his salary. So it really depends on how the equity is going to play out. But my point is that he started to double his salary. I want you guys to really understand, first of all, are you underpaid or not through today's talk? I'm going to show you the real data, okay? So number two is that what if you're underpaid, what you need to do? All right, so let's let's continue this process. Uh, and also, and um, quick celebration, and for people who are inside a PM Accelerator, and this is all the offers we have received through our students. Um, so last week, actually, we got eight offers in total. Three of those came from fan companies. And also one of our students land five offers in three months using the methodology we're teaching them. And today you guys are very lucky because I'm teaching you the same methodology for free um, because I want to make sure more people are getting um, like advanced education to land their dream job offer. For anybody who is interested in Prime Manager Accelerator, PM Accelerator I teach, you can go to this website, docnancy.com to learn more about our services and you start to register the free masterclass right here. And 
towards the end of the free masterclass, I'm going to show you more about what we do in Product Manager Accelerator, but at least you can get an hour free training from me by go to this website, docnancy.com slash masterclass. Um, of course, uh, for anybody who's preparing for fan interviews, I recommend all of you guys go to this website, docnancy.com slash 50 fan to download the 50 fan interview questions database. I want you guys to use this database to do mock interviews and get ready for your upcoming interviews, okay? And now, a uh, quick reminder for anybody who wants to um, get free coaching from me, feel free to directly email me right now because I can pull you live on Zoom with me directly uh, at nancy.nancy.com. And you should also fill in a form the, in, the, in the description of this live, both on LinkedIn and also YouTube, there's a link you're able to submit your request to be coached by me for free. And my team will like select one of the, uh, the audience, okay? Okay, cool, all right. Another quick reminder who gets uh, selected um, are the people who directly either contributed to the nonprofit I support through the one-on-one donation matches, which is which means you donate $1, I donate at least $1. One-on-one donation matches, or whoever had the most likes, comments, and shares is able to join me live to get free coaching as well. Okay, so let's get back to here. Um, now, salary. I'd love to share you guys regarding what the salary ranges and how much you need to get paid. But most important, let me understand your level first. Um, because I, we cannot use director's level to compare with entry-level PM's level. So it's very different, okay? So let's do this. So comment on the chat. Let me understand your level. So just high level. For example, you can say you are a senior product manager in fan companies or senior product manager in a Fortune 500 company uh, or you are director product in a Fortune 500 company or you are a fresh graduate in a startup. Just tell me your levels and years of experience. And then I can share with you regarding how much you should get paid and where you can find those information. The more information you give me, the more I can tell you exactly how much you should get paid and how much our past students have received the offer that's similar to your level. Okay, um, so comment on the chat so I can... Uh, give you high level what examples. Okay, just high level, do any information you want to give me director or fresh graduate in what type of companies. Okay, and let's see what we have. We have someone mentioned like directors um, level. So let me share with you. Um, so I have some comments here. Um, Swana said, senior project or program manager with 18 years of tech experience. Awesome. Um, if Ebal, I believe your name pronounced Ebal, you start up with one year experience. Um, Cindy, VP of transportation in bank, uh, transformation, VP of transformation in bank with seven years experience. Awesome, awesome. I love all those. Now, let me share with you regarding how to find the relevant information for your years of experience and also based on the, the offers I have uh, negotiated lately. So what we need to do is, um, uh, let's go here. Let me start, go to this website. Let me share my screen first. Let's also go to this website. Um, hold on, level, okay, let me start sharing my screen and then you guys uh, can follow the same process, searching the right salary range for you. Okay, so let me do this. Okay, we have, by the way, we have somebody who mentioned the direct level as well. Um, and also for the transparency, let me show you how much a direct people can then offer um, if they push their limit as high as possible. Okay, so this is, let's talk about the highest level uh, our student have ever uh, received from the product manager accelerator, the highest level of total compensation is $800,000 per year. Uh, one of our students received an offer at Meta L7. If you go to level FYI, soon I'm gonna show you where to find those information, the total compensation, um, average total compensation of uh, uh, Meta L7 is by close to $800,000. And of course, our student also get paid above average 
So he's like crazy. His total compensation is around eight hundred thousand dollars per year. And now, and also let you guys know, I will also have people who comment regarding your background, right? Some of you guys mentioned you're already a direct level on the person who receives eight hundred grand per year. He was his title was a senior director in one of the banks. And um, then also uh, to be fair with you guys for banks, um, their title was a little bit inflated. Just if you go to any banks, you see so many VPs, but they're not really VPs um, in other companies in terms of level. So the senior director in those banks um, in real life is more direct level in other companies. So my point to you guys is that like most of you guys and some of you guys also mentioned like Ashok, you guys mentioned your director. So he's in your level. And he spent a year trying to figure out how he can double his salary. And towards the end, not only he doubled his salary, he actually more than doubled his original salary. It's like, it's like nuts by joining Meta L7. Um, now, let me share with you, starting from the direct level, we're gonna, today we're going to go through director, middle tier, and entry level level, okay? Entry level salary. And in terms of as a product manager, <laughs> you know whether I'm gonna pay what you need to do, okay? Um, all right, and also still please comment on the chat. Um, the more information you give me, um, the better I can tell you regarding are you underpaid or not, right? Um, for example, Shuk mentioned like 15 years experience. I also have people raise that 20 years of management program management experience. That's awesome. Ray, what type of company? Are you in like Fortune financial company or startups um, or fan companies? Um, the more you tell me, the more I can laser focus, tell you exactly how much you should get paid at the market rate, okay? Um, so Swana says that's your role, but your company is great as a uh, associate director. I understand, okay, but your sounds like your responsibilities are direct level, am I right, Swana? So you're more like, they internally call you associate director, but if you go outside, your responsibilities are direct level. Cool, All right. Um, no, was an 800K student get a PM in the bank? No, 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 no. 800 grand student, he was a senior director in a bank. He landed an offer as a meta level seven product manager. And total compensation is around $800,000 per year. Okay, so Ray currently working for fan company, 20 years experience. Oh, you're getting paid very well. Okay, so now let's get into from the top to low different levels of um, experiences people are having. Um, let's do this. Remove branding. What the heck? One sec. Uh, let's go do this. Uh, let's let's take a look at the fan senior fan level right now. Okay, so let me bring my keyboard. I also have my microphone here. Um, okay, senior fan level. So you go to here level. Uh, level FYI. Okay. So level FYI is everybody please go to this website, level FYI. Um, there's a lot of like um, big tech companies. As long as a big tech company, not startup, startup is harder to find it here. Big tech company, you can find salary information here. And um, based on the year's experience, um, you can see the pretty, pretty latest information in different big tech companies. For example, oh, they pre-built this. Let's add Facebook. They haven't changed the name from Facebook to Meta on their website. Um, now let's uh, Google, let's remove this. Let's also add Facebook, Amazon. Let's, let's add Microsoft, just for fun, okay? So first of all, I want you guys to understand the levels, you see? So for example, when we talk about Facebook, why this change matter? They confuse me. Okay, so let's say Facebook level seven is right here. All right, and now you compare this with Google and Google, they're here. They have like principal or the engineer. Okay, let's switch to product manager, product manager. Ah, glad. Now we switch to product manager. See what I did? I select the type of companies and select product manager. Earlier was by default was engineer. 
That's why it confused me now. Put a manager. Let's see. Our student land this offer. He was senior director in a bank. Now he land the offer in Facebook at L7 per manager, right under director level. Okay. And now something very interesting is that you see, so the L7 in Facebook or Meta is the direct level. It's exactly at the direct level in Amazon. See what happened? So the, what does it mean is that Facebook like lower their title on purpose, just, just the way it is. It's, it's Facebook, it's meta. They don't give you high title, but it's equivalent of Amazon direct level. And it's also the equivalent of group product manager of Google. Of Google. You see right here, it's the same level, L7 here. It's a group product manager. Now, let me also define group product manager. Group product manager um, means that you start to manage product managers, okay? Um, now, right on the group product manager, group product manager Google, so that's direct level, All right? So, but the director in Google is slightly higher than even the director level of Facebook, but they still overlap significantly. So my point is that in general, the title of Amazon is a little bit higher compared with Facebook and, and Google. All right, and now Microsoft, let's take a look at Microsoft. See right here, Microsoft, and specifically, let's pay close attention, right? So Microsoft, for example, my student landing this, this range, and then this is actually above, almost above the group product manager in Microsoft, and also overlap, or a little bit above the partner, partner level in Microsoft. In Microsoft. So different companies, the levels and titles are very different. So I want you guys moving forward, use level, level FYI to understand your salary range. Okay. Now, uh, for example, you click, did you guys click this? See how I click this? Okay, let's do this again. Hey guys, this one, you click Facebook L7. You see this Facebook L7, you click this guy. It will give you the salary information here. So on average, based on people submitted information, people getting L7 Facebook product manager, the total compensation is $812,000. You see what happened here. Now, what the compensation is composed of? Base salary, 250 and good enough for San Francisco. Now, lots of stock options. Now, lots of uh, bonus as well. Some of you guys can also give you more like uh, sign on bonus, and the number also go up if they give you more sign on bonus. Of course, you need to negotiate your sign on bonus. Okay, the highest sign on bonus I negotiate for someone else is the um, someone get additional one hundred twenty thousand um, dollars on top of their existing package, which is let's say someone else original package is eight hundred something. This at one hundred twenty thousand dollars equals the additional money we have negotiated for our students. So which like. It's, it's going nuts. Okay, so this is how much people are getting paid in Facebook L7. Now, let's let's use that. Now you know the highest level was look like. Let me let me take a look at other people's background. Give you more examples. Um, and huh, let me stop sharing so I can see the chat. Um, we have so change. You need to change your role. Yes. Okay. Hold on. A hand, dun, 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 dun. let's see, let's use this as an example. Ray said, 20 years experience for a program manager in fan companies that really depends on your level. For example, I believe, hold on, let me share my screen. Ray, I have very important question for you. So what's your level? So roughly using this information, you can estimate how, mu how much you're getting paid. And the information on level FYI in general is pretty good. Okay, for example, in the L5 is $340,000 in fan company. So I want you guys to identify the right company you're in and click the one that has more information, okay? For example, um, they also have Amazon Principal PM, which is about $390,000 and see more details and they have more like 
information and just a base salary. Yes, Amazon has significantly adjusted salary compensation recently. You are right. They increased the base salary um, for um, for people who inside come in the past. They have a cap. Now I believe the base salary cap moved up to three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Um, that's in high in a high level how much the, the range you should get paid. Now let's take a look at other um, levels we have and managing PMs. So I share for you example, you are director and managing PMs and acting as a principal for clients. That's fantastic, right? So uh, if you're not working for fan companies, as based on what you de uh, describe, so you're more like direct level based on what you describe, managing PMC, yes, you're direct level, um, or group or manager level, right? So it depends on your location. You should get paid at least 250 at bare minimum. You should, in real life, should get paid based on what you describe, managing product managers, uh, you should get paid like 300 grand. I think if you're getting paid lower than 300 grand, um, you need to rethink your strategy. How can we increase your salary? Um, but minimum should be 250. If you're getting paid lower than 250, you should go in to renegotiate. But I think 250, the bare minimum for which you should get paid right now. But I believe that you should get paid at least $300,000 uh, $300, um, per year based on what you just described, the roles and the responsibilities as you already manage. Um, uh, other product managers and also depends on your work location, right? So if you are working um, in the Bay Area, for Bay Area, your salary should be three fifty, um, in based on what you described. And on top of that, this is pre then uh, pre inflation salary because inflation, if pre inflation is three fifty, and right now you should gradually move up to four hundred. Right now, if you if you live in San Francisco, okay. So there's a differences between West Coast and and East Coast. They're like roughly there are like thirty percent differences in terms of the uh, living expenses. So each time when you jump ship from East Coast to West Coast, you should negotiate with a company to give you at least thirty percent increase, or it doesn't make sense for you to move to San Francisco either. Okay. Now let's take a look at um, other company, other people's experience. Cool. Uh, let's now let's talk about we have like like VP director. We talk a lot uh, about VP a director in different places. Okay, so in Boston, yeah, East Coast. Okay, so um, if it's East Coast, you should at least getting paid two fifty, and you should you should in in real life getting paid three hundred grand. Um, and if you're getting paid lower lower than two fifty in Boston, I still think that's that's a little bit unfair for your contribution roles responsibilities you're managing right now. Okay. Um, now let's also take a look. We, we talk about lots of directors and people with twenty years experience, um, uh, like VP position in those banks. Oh, Cindy, here thing. Um, I have students who actually used to work for banks before. If your VP of transformation in a bank depends on East Coast and West Coast, okay, I can tell you roughly your range is. So you can just comment on the chat: Are you East Coast or West Coast? Um. Now let's see. Startup. Um. A. Can should I call it Abel or Ibel? But Abel. Um. So. Looks like you PM in a startup with one year experience. And I believe you mentioned you are working in Malaysia. And here's the thing. I personally do not know the salary information in Malaysia, but I can give you examples of ranges of salary our students have received in uh, Thailand or Asia those kind of countries, okay? So that you can roughly scale up and down based on the differences of your specific location, okay? Now, let's do this. So for PM positions, we actually have a student who was in Thailand. Um, she had eight years of experience as entrepreneur and she landed a CMO offer in the US company. 
So currently she's getting paid in the US salary range as well. So she's getting paid very comfortably um, because she's getting paid at US salary while uh, being in Thailand. Um, I am not supposed to disclose her salary at this moment um, because there's so much personal identifying information you guys to be able to find her. We don't want to talk about that. But in, my point is that um, she lives in Thailand, but she's getting paid a US salary because she works for the US salary remotely. Okay, so uh, Abel, what I want you to think about is that you should, you should think about, is there any way that I'm able to identify like remote PM positions in the US or UK, any, any other countries in general, they pay higher than Malaysia. Okay, and then your salary will increase dramatically. All right, so think about that way. Um, now I'll also give you guys uh, a range of how the entry level PM working for startups. Um, I believe, um, Abel, you mentioned that you are PM in a startup with one year experience, right? So PM in starting one year experience. Um, in the US, so it depends on start type of startups. Um, we have students who uh, join a startup in San Francisco and their base salary, I believe their salary is $135,000. Um, yeah, that's pretty good salary. As a, and, and that person has no PM experience. A fresh graduate, I believe she's a master. Yeah, master students join a San Francisco startup getting paid 135 is she's getting paid very comfortably given how young she is okay um we also have students who join startup in the east coast company or in the middle right um their uh their salary is also let's say bachelor degree fresh graduate they're getting paid around eighty thousand dollars and also salaries are before the inflation okay so this post inflation i believe uh, the salary should also go up recently this inflation going crazy in the u.s right now Okay, so that's roughly the range you should expect if you're able to land a remote PM position uh, for US company as well. Now, specifically for your own country, you need to really redo the calculation because the, the cost of living is much lower. Um, so using the information I just gave you and understand how much you are getting paid, uh, you should be getting paid in your current country. And right I just right now, I don't have student in Malaysia, so I cannot tell you this piece of information, but I have student in other places, so I can uh, tell you more if you guys have more information about your background. Um, cool. Um, Darkness Lee, product manager, accelerator from, I am from, Cario, Egypt. Do I have any chance to get remote work in Fan or Mango? You mean the new way to say Fan is Mango? Uh, companies as a PM. So let me let me pull this question up from. Um, uh, feel free to ask me any other questions. Okay, and uh, let me let me share my screen and. So everyone can see this question. This is a very good question. Oh, by the way, for people who are on YouTube and and also uh, LinkedIn, you are not able to see each other's channels comments. So I'm here to do you guys a favor to put everything on my screen so you guys can see it as well. Um, let me share my screen. Wow, and my arm cutting off. Uh, okay, by the way, this is my microphone. It's so funny, but it's like, invisible in the in the virtual background. Okay, so let me share my screen. Now, answer, let me answer this question. Um, dun, dun. I am from Egypt. Do I have any chance to get remote work in fan companies or man company, whatever different way to call fan companies as a PM? Okay, so for Microsoft, it's possible. By the way, Microsoft is also part of fan, all right? So because N could be M, so Microsoft part of fan. For remote PM position, for 
uh, if you're able to land a job offer from Microsoft, and yes, you're able to get remote PM job because recently, um, how many students we have two? Um, I think this year, yeah, we have two students landing um, job offer from Microsoft. And what happened was Microsoft said, hey, you can work anywhere you want. You don't need to come into office. You can choose to come into the office if you like to, but you can also choose not to come into office at all. Um, but we'll pay you the same amount of money regardless where you live. The only difference is that you're not able to get the $5,000 relocation package. Everything else is the same. So I would definitely take the remote PM position and getting paid like 300 grand working for Microsoft, okay? Um, so most important is more about are you able to land a job offer? We also have um, an opportunity and it's so crazy that uh, I think someone was in Brazil and the Facebook or Meta hybrid manager or like recruiter reach out to someone in Brazil and saying that, hey, do you want to in interview here? We can like, then the person was like, oh, you know what? I'm in Brazil. I say, like, no worries. If you pass the interview, we're going to figure out your visa or remote or any other opportunities. It's more about, are you a good fit for the team? And are you able to create value starting from day one? So I believe for those fan companies, and it's more important you find out the right team who has more flexible work, work from home, like policy or some companies. For example, Microsoft, I know for sure, um, their PM team are, are remote, fully remote, right? So target the right fan companies, which will help you to um, get more opportunities and out there. Of course, besides fan companies, I, there are so many amazing companies actually pay higher than fan companies, okay? So soon I'm going to, uh, next time when we go live, I'm going to share you another story. So one of my students, she's getting paid uh, higher. She had two offers, one from fan company, the other one from non-fan company. And actually the non-fan company gave her higher salary than fan companies as well, okay? So those like unicorn startups that pay you very well, um, yeah, some, for example, this, my students is crazy. Um, he's getting paid extremely well, um, because that company which Stripe's competitor is doing extremely well financially. So people in the company, like create a position for him and also gave him a very high salary and um, based on his experience. And so I encourage you guys, not only looking to fan companies, looking to non-fan company as well. For example, my student, he's a PM job was fully remote. Starting from day one, he's fully remote. He can work anywhere he wants. Uh, yeah, I will, <laughs> amazing. I will definitely do that. Uh, and, and he's getting paid very well. So I want you guys to look at non-fan company as long as they are unicorn startup and a very strong cash flow. Um, if their team has a culture fully remote, you are in luck. Uh, it's more about, are you able to get in or not? Okay, are you able to pass the interview and show your value starting from day one? Um, cool, let me see other questions I have. I am a consultant, a sanctuary with six years, software degree work, not the to PNN, and I use skill transferable to part manager. Uh, fantastic question. So that's Michael's question. Let me copy paste your question here so that people on LinkedIn can see my answer and your question as well. So let me do this. Um, let me share my screen again. Dun, dun, sharing. Okay, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Second question right here. All right, so fantastic question. I am a consultant at Accenture with six years of software delivery work. I'm not directly in part management. Are my skills transferable to part manager? Yes, 200%, like 300%, 100%, I don't know. Absolutely, okay. Um, the reason is I have a student who are working for Accenture, Deloitte, EY, PWG, P. K KPW, KPMG, KPMG, all those like similar type of company, all the four uh, accounting kind of like uh, companies who is also consultant, um, they're lending amazing PM job offer. For example, some of my students, one of my students working for one of those 
companies like Deloitte, EY type of company, Accenture type of company, she then offer from Amazon. The other student, she was uh, also working for one of those four companies as a consultant, she then uh, uh, offer from Uber, another offer from Gemini. So it's, yes, if a consultant in those companies and, and especially work from software de delivery, I believe your skills are very transferable. Uh, what makes a difference between someone else, like your coworkers, why they can then fan offers, but you couldn't, is based on two things. So first of all, do you know how to present yourself in the interview for fan companies? The strategy landing job offering fan companies is very different. Number two is that are you able to bridge the gap, really repackage your prior story working as a consultant to make it demonstrate your transferable skills as a product manager. The way we do it inside the product manager accelerator is by creating a product portfolio. Um, actually, after today's live, we're going to film another thing uh, for our student regarding examples of creating product portfolio using consultant background. Um, so basically, you need to repackage your prior uh, experience doing software delivery work into product management framework to demonstrate your prior experience through uh, product portfolio. All right, so using this two methodology, yeah, you can for sure become a PM and you, sh you, you can also shoot really high to go for fan companies as well. I have, I have full confidence about that. I have a pair of done that before. Okay, um, now, next question. Um, Michael said, you need help in these two areas. Yes, if you're interested in our PM accelerator, product manager accelerator, you can go to this website on my screen darknessly.com slash product manager no no sorry darknessly.com um directly go to our webinar slash masterclass um so go to our website to learn more um by attending our free webinar and, and also towards the end of webinar we're going to tell you more regarding uh, what's included in the product manager accelerator but at least you should learn the top three strategies we teach you in those free webinar to start applying those free strategies okay i actually it's crazy i need to show you guys screenshots i have someone actually email me by attending the free master class um, and there, that person already landed like five interviews within a Fortune 500 company by using the, the resume strategies we taught him in the free masterclass. So I want all of you guys to attend those free masterclass. By the way, where's the registration? Um, so the registration is here. Dun, 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 dun. This one. So go to my website, darkmanstreet.com and slash masterclass to um, get free resources to boost up your resume. Um, and also learn more about, about PM Accelerator as well. Okay, so let me answer another question here. Um, another one from Microsoft. Now, the cost of living uh, adjustment. So where you work from now matters for pay. Oh, cool, really? Um, Okay, so latest information. So basically for someone that if you, they adjust cost of living based on where you work. And so now it's slightly different. Interesting. So I think when you interview with those fan companies, at least when our student interview with fan companies, her specific like office location and when people ask her to choose or not, um, they didn't talk about the office location or current locations. Basically, you can choose to go anywhere or directly work in the Microsoft office in Seattle. But for sure, when people make her offer and they have and she, her salary different change. And I assume if you move to international location, uh, it's probably they're going to adjust cost of living based on your um, specific location as well. But thank you for the information, Ray, in terms of adjusting based on where they live. Awesome. Okay, great. Let me see. Any other people? 15 years. Yeah. I showed 15 years experience with a director. Uh, role of responsibilities. You should get paid 300 gram and you should also go higher. Yeah. 300 is, is like extremely reasonable for now. Um, you should go higher as well, even if you are in Boston, okay? 
Um, cool, awesome, awesome. Cool. Yes, so I heard that what happened was, I believe earlier they announced if for Microsoft, if you work internally within the company and then you choose to, uh, you're already PM in Microsoft Seattle and then you choose to work in like uh, remotely and they might start to adjust your salary as well. Okay, but for new people coming in, they didn't adjust them, just say you choose to come into Microsoft Office or you choose to work remotely, it's up to you. Um, cool, cool. I believe we have all the, um, uh experience evaluated so someone also said with senior project program manager with 18 years tech experience awesome so the swana and with that background and depends on whether you're able to quickly transition into product management or not and so you should with 18 years experience working in the space you should be able to transition into pm all right, so once you transition into PM, it matters a lot based on your uh, level of companies, fan company versus non-fan companies. So you need to think about what's your career goal, okay? And of course, if you join a unicorn startup, some of them actually paid higher than fan companies. And if you work for crypto companies, for sure, I have several student lending offers from crypto companies. They're getting paid higher than fan companies as well. Okay, so think about is salary important for you or the product or work life balance so that you can choose the right company for you guys to join. Um, very cool. Okay, great. So uh, uh, final reminder for people who are preparing for fan interviews, um, you can find mock interview partner right here. Okay, so this is uh, the free groups, the LinkedIn group, and also um, WeChat group. So you should, you guys should take a screenshot right now and scan the barcode and join those two free groups, right? Uh, and then find your mock interviews, okay? Uh, and for people who are preparing for your fan interviews, please go to this website, documentsleet.com slash 50 fan um, to download this free interview questions database and get ready for your mock interview. Um, those are all real life fan interviews that happened uh, through our student who goes through the fan interview. So we collect those real life uh, questions for you guys so that I want you guys to land high paying job in fan companies as well. And also really want to throw down a challenge for all of you guys. If you already have 20 years experience or somebody who's already director, let's aim for 800 grand, okay? So just like one of our students who are already uh, director in a bank and he's going really high in terms of shooting for uh, the fan offers. Yeah, if you have 20 years experience, why don't you like try to shoot go for those $800,000 per year salary or not, okay? And also think about why someone else also with 20 years experience can let 800 grand, but you are not able to. So something is wrong with your application process, maybe something wrong with the interview skills. So really think hard, um, but I want you guys to shoot for the highest range you're able to achieve as well. So everybody needs to um, try to maximize their earning potentials and achieve your full potential as well. Awesome. Okay, okay. So I believe we covered all the questions today and welcome, welcome everybody. Okay, so anybody who find this free uh, talk very useful, please give a thumb up of this um, channel, this uh, my, my current my current YouTube video and also LinkedIn live. So give a sum up and also comment on the chat with a sum up emoji. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And let me know any other questions. Awesome. Awesome. Great. I'm going to see you guys next time. Have a good night. Bye guys.